hi guys this is our following grid and here we have to find the bus impedance in other words z bus and we are given with the line reactances and capacitive susceptance with line 1 and line 2 so we have to find the bus impedance matrix by using uh, reactances and susceptances so we will draw the equivalent circuit in terms of reactance and susceptance and then we will solve step by step guys here it is important uh, to know the steps used for uh, the universal steps for the Z bus number step number one is the take reference bus first of all okay the second step is add new line to the reference bus this one and the formula for this one is ZB 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 to ZKK plus ZB this will you find on other some other uh, YouTube subscribe uh, YouTube uh, youtubers of uh, regarding this Z bus step 3 is if we have to add bus between the reference bus and the existing bus reference bus is the one that is connected with the ground then we will use this formula z bus or z new is equal to z matrix old old means from the step 2 1 over z kk kk is the line to be added plus zb the reactance of the line zk column and zk row the fourth step is if the buses are added between the two existing buses then we have this formula 1 over ZLL whereas ZLL is ZJJ jama ZKK jama ZB minus 2 ZJK so you have to uh, uh, memorize all these steps and formula while solving the Z matrix now guys I have make the equivalent circuit of the given network in my question you can see I have put the reactance with line 1 and the line 2 reactance plus susceptance so susceptance uh, if you have already solved the five bus matters then you comes to know that the susceptance is always JBL by 2 on both sides JBL by 2 JBL by 2 so this is the susceptance we have to convert it to the reactance first of all so reactance is the inverse of susceptance 1 over JBL 2 by 2 uh, L2 means line 2 then 2 upside and then multiply by J by J just to remove the J from the below side and you will get minus 2J by BL2 so this one and this one is minus 2J by BL2 okay so comes to the solution the first step now you have to take the bus with the reference node you cannot take bus 1 because bus 1 is connected to the bus 2 with the reactance there is no any reference node so just take the bus number 2 as a reference bus because as it has a reference node here so our z bus is equal to minus 0.2j here we come to uh, 2j minus 2j by bl2 bl2 is our 10 so it is 0.2j 0.2j here 0.2j here minus i now we will move step by step the second step is we cannot connect bus 2 to bus 3 directly as there is reactance plus susceptance so first we have to take uh, solve for the susceptances new now add bus 2 with another reference link so and another reference link is bus 3 with minus 0.2 just susceptance just make 0 0 because we are now we are not taking care of bus number 2 so the reactance of this bus is minus 0.2j okay now the next step is to add the link between bus 2 and bus 3 if at the start of the video you go and you will find that this is the rule number 4 that if you have to find the link between two existing buses so this is step number 4 so add the new line between the two existing buses so we will use this formula okay so ZLL is this one 
so this is bus number two and bus number three uh, always use k as a first bus and j as the second bus in this case the first bus is two and the second bus is three so if you take two and three you will come to know that we have two cross two buses uh, matrix so you cannot take two and three so in your mind just take bus number two as bus number one and bus number three as bus number two now put k is equal to one j is equal to two then solve this one z k minus j uh, one minus two i mean column of one uh, column first column minus second column you will get this one and the row is the transpose of this one then you will put zl value z11 because k is 1 for the first bus first row first column matrix uh, point minus point 2j z22 plus zb is the reactance of the line that is point 2 5 and then minus 2 z kj kj is 1 2 if you go back to the matrix then you will come to know that uh, z12 is 0 so you will find this one minus 0.15 j by putting all the values 1 over zll is this one this one this one and z old is the previous matrix by using the calculator you will find the new bus as this one now the last portion is adding a new bus to the existing bus and this is our very simple case of bus uh, step number two at the start of the video so i have connected this one in the red uh, marker uh, here you have to take care of one thing that z1 uh, bus 1 is connected to the bus 2 so bus 1 matrices is this one okay bus 1 is connected to the bus 2 so you have to move this matrix okay if here is the bus 2 then you have to use this row and this column so here i have highlighted i have used this uh, row here and this column here and this column here and this row here downside and for this one our formula is zkk plus zb zk in this case we are adding bus number one so z11 z11 is 0 0.0666 plus zb our new reactance is 0.15 so 0 0.21667i so this is our final final answer but you can do one additional thing you can do one additional thing the additional thing is as you know we first connected the bus 2 then connected the bus 3 then connect bus 1 so you can rearrange this is not mandatory but optional if you can see from here this is bus 2 the first one bus 3 and then we take bus 1 so you can arrange first by columns and then by rows for example this is bus 2 okay move it uh, part and this bus one column you have to shift here this one and then bus two will become here and bus three will become here this is the column side now the rows row is the same to first uh, you need two three and one move first row to upside uh, this one and then this second is goes to here and then the third one is here so this is our optional uh, optional uh, matrix hope you understand thank you